Thank you everyone for being here and let's thank the city of San Leandro for allowing us to use this beautiful senior center. Congratulations to the city council and mayors for caring so much about their seniors to invest in this beautiful facility. Thank you so much. I'm Senator Ellen Corbett and I'm glad to be with all of you this evening. I'm going to do some introductions, but I'm very glad to be here with uh, some uh, co-sponsors of this event. Our mayor, Stephen Cassidy, the California Nurses Association, the doctors of San Leandro Hospital, and of course the support of the Eden Township Hospital Board. And I thank them all for their participation in this. Uh, before I uh, introduce the mayor, who's here to welcome you, I want to just um, introduce some elected officials who have taken the time to be with us tonight out of their busy schedules. So, of course, we're going to be hearing from a moment from our mayor, Stephen Cassidy. I'd like to introduce Mayor Cassidy. He's here with us this evening. Uh, San Leandro's vice mayor, Michael Gregory. City Council Member Jim Prola. And we've heard from San Leandro City Council Member Diana Souza, who I'm sure will be here shortly. So you can applaud for her. She'll be here shortly. She's probably looking for a parking place. And we'll introduce other members as they arrive. We thank you for being here. Also representing our State Assemblywoman Mary Hayashi, Chris Parman from her office is here. We're very happy to have our very, very supportive supervisor, Will Machan, with us this evening. We are expecting Supervisor Nadia Lockyer as well, and she is represented uh, here by Christine Gasparic. Also here from the Board of Supervisors, representing Supervisor Scott Haggerty, Josh Thurman. <laughs> Amy Schrago from Supervisor Keith Carson's office. And of course, two of our most important elected officials here this evening, from the Eden Township Hospital Board, uh, the Chair, Carol Rogers. Astro Valley showing his support, Frank Mellon from the East Bay Municipal Utilities District. Well, thank you all very much. I also want to mention we probably would have had almost every member of the Hayward City Council here this evening as well to show their support, but they have a City Council meeting this evening. That's the only reason they're not here. Tonight, really the main uh, purpose of tonight's meeting is to give us an opportunity to have a community forum to talk about uh, potential opportunity for the future of healthcare in San Leandro. And so a big part of this evening's um, agenda is an opportunity to hear from Mike Mahoney of St. Rose Hospital and uh, his, uh, his offer to allow us to keep San Leandro Hospital open. We are gonna be hearing from a few more speakers tonight, but that really is the main opportunity, this is the main opportunity to let the community know what it is, what the possible plans are, and some very, very good and viable plans are for keeping San Leandro Hospital open. Um, this evening, um, I wanted to just give a real uh, brief history of where we have been and where we are now. Now, many of you I see in the audience have been at every single public meeting, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your advocacy over all these years, some of you even dating back to 2007. So thank you for that. But I also know that we have some new people in the audience. Thank you for your first opportunity to hear what has been happening with San Leandro Hospital and what the future of San Leandro Hospital can be. And I want to thank you for being here, too. So those of you who are following the news, you'll remember this, and some of this might be um, a new history for you, but back in uh, 2007, we started to hear some rumors that San Leandro Hospital uh, might be subject of a closure. And for that reason, people started to gather together, we started to see emails sort of going back and forth, and people started to organize and say, hey, we need to get some people together and talk about 
our interest and our support in trying to find an option to keep San Leandro Hospital open. As time went on, about 2009, the first public meetings were held to give people an opportunity to come together as a community and talk about their concerns about the hospital and their interest in keeping the hospital open. And as the mayor said, we can thank the vice mayor, Michael Gregory, for calling those very first meetings back in 2009 over at the city hall. And some of you may remember, there were also rumors that started to float that, well, if we keep San Leandro Hospital open, we might not be able to build a new Eden Hospital in Castro Valley. And thank you to all of you who stayed strong, even though you might have heard that rumor, because Eden Hospital is being rebuilt in Castro Valley, and we still have an opportunity to keep San Leandro Hospital open. After that, there were several meetings of the Eden Township Hospital District, including the ones that they held. They, they brought their group on the road to San Leandro Library and held several meetings to get input from the community on what their thoughts were for the future of San Leandro Hospital. And as those of you know who've been following this, the, the loud group of advocates continue to grow and grow as a result of those meetings. And as uh, Sutter decided to exercise an option, the Eden Township Board, after hearing from hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of residents, made the determination they were gonna do everything they could to keep San Leandro Hospital open, keep the emergency room open, and make sure that healthcare continued to be accessible. So I know we already had some applause, but I think it's time to applaud the Eden Township Board members one more time. Thank you for your courage and your tenacity. Uh, over the years, I had the opportunity to introduce legislation, to give us some tools, to also help keep San Leandro Hospital open. And as some of you may know, I also kept in touch with the Attorney General to discuss uh, my thoughts and our community's thoughts on what was happening uh, between Eden and San Leandro Hospital. And with that, I um, hope that helps for those of you who may new, be new to the history of what's going on in San Leandro. But tonight we have the opportunity to launch an entire new chapter, and that is our support for, as I said, a very, very viable plan 